Hello and welcome to another episode of Wiggle Park Guns TV. Today I'm going to show you something that might seem very simple to a lot of you, uh, but I often have customers coming in and asking me how to fill their pre-charged rifle or PCP rifle. So today I'm going to show you the correct way to do this. So here we go, this is the correct way to fill your rifle. Um, there's two main parts to the tank. You've got your main valve and you have your bleed valve. They're all you really need to concentrate on. Um, so grab your, grab your probe that came with your pre-charged rifle and attach it to your hose. Uh, depending on how many rifles you have, depends on whether you would uh, thread it directly into the end or whether you put a quick, uh, quick coupler on there to snap it on easily. Uh, these are very handy when it comes to switching between probes if you've multiple rifles. Um, so first thing to do is check what pressure your rifle needs to go up to. Most rifles you fill to 200 bar. There is a few exceptions, BSAs and Gamo, you'll fill to 232. Some of the newer rifles like FX, um, they'll fill up to 250 bar. So just check your user manual and make sure that you fill it to the correct pressure. Don't overfill it. If you overfill it, you risk um, the rifle protecting itself by dumping the air out the back, um, and then you'll have to get it serviced to be, uh, to be fixed again. Um, some rifles don't protect themselves like this, like air arms, for example, they will physically blow the uh, top of the cylinder out ever so slightly um, to stop the entire thing exploding. Um, so just be careful you don't overfill it. Um, it's very rare, I haven't had um, many experiences of that. I've had perhaps one customer um, where it happened where he left his, his fully charged rifle in the back of a very hot van um, and that increased the pressure and in turn, obviously, um, dumped the air out. So just be careful, um, but you should, be, uh, you should be fine. So the first thing I want to mention is your, if your gun has a gauge on it, like this one does here, this is the, uh, the Kral uh, Puncher Maxi, don't rely on the gauge of the gun. Uh, the reason for this is they, uh, the needle is controlled by a, a very tiny spring. If that spring has broken, the needle will stay in the same place. So you can end up looking like not, it can look like not much air's going in or no air's going in and you can overfill your rifle. Because these tanks, most new tanks, uh, they are a 300 bar tank. So if you tell the tank to put 300 bar in, it will put 300 bar in as long as the tank's full, of course. So go off the gauge on the tank because if that's not moving, then you know there's something wrong somewhere. So go off this gauge, not this gauge. And um, the next part is to plug your probe in to wherever that may be. Lots of guns are different. Some fill from the bottom, some fill from the top, some fill from the side now. Um, step one is close your bleed valve, only finger tight. Doesn't need to be doesn't need to be over tightened, so just finger tight. Gently open your main valve, and you'll feel the pressure once that once once this lifts, it's then under pressure. And then what we want to do with this gun, we fill to 200 bar. 200 bar is pretty much directly in the middle of the gauge. So increase the pressure. The slower the better, so you don't damage any seals. Once you've reached 200 bar, which you can see we're about there, close your main valve, just like that. And we need to release the pressure out of this pipe. If you don't release the pressure out of that pipe, when you pull the probe out, you'll burst seals and the chances are the whip, this piece, is gonna smack you in the face. So you need to bleed the air out, like that. You'll see the gauge run back down to the bottom. Once it's run down to the bottom, Pull your probe out, and uh, and that's all there is to it. And then check your gauge on your gun, which you can see this one is apps is working absolutely fine because we're up to the up to the two hundred bar mark. And um, yeah, that's it. Very simple. Also, one thing I'd like to mention is I often have people coming into the shop, and they've over tightened 
They've over tightened this piece here, which is the DIN fitting that goes into the tank. That's unnecessary, you don't need to. All it needs to be is finger tight into the valve. There's a small rubber o-ring here. Once, that, once the bottle's under pressure, that o-ring is rock solid against the back of the valve. So there's just no need. Don't put PTFE around it. Don't wind it on really tight with a spanner. It just doesn't make any sense. So, um, so there we go. I hope this video has been of use to some of you and uh, I'll be bringing you more videos soon.